Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the fifth and last news on 27th February newspaper, front page dawn. CS stops CDA from demolishing liars and chambers by our staff reporter. Islamabad and the Supreme Court on Friday restrained the Capital Development Authority, CDA, from demolishing illegal chambers of liars constructed on the football ground green bars and the footpaths. The liars have expressed willingness to submit an undertaking to vacate in the amenity land once construction of the liars complex was completed. A Supreme Court bench headed by Chief Justice of Pakistan and Justice Buzar Ahmad issued a stay order effective between March 2 on an appeal filed by the Islamabad Bar Association IBA against the Islamabad High Court IHC's order to declare the lives of chambers illegal. The Supreme Court bench asked the Attorney General AG to appear in the court on the said date. A representatives of the Pakistan Bar Council, BBC, Supreme Court Bar Association, SCBA, Punjab Bar Council, Islamabad Bar Council, Islamabad High Court, Bar Association, and Islamabad Bar Association appeared before the Apex Court. The court made it clear that the proceeding in this matter would be conducted without any pressure or favor. A uh, former IHC bench headed by Chief Ataminallah uh, disposing the, of the football ground encroachment case asked the lives to voluntarily vacate the amenity land by February 28th and the district CDA to retrieve the playground and hold an inter colleges football match there on March 23. The BBC has challenged the INC's order before the Supreme Court. And when the three member bench of the Apex Court took up the appeal, dozens of lads gathered at the rostrum. Justice Gurdar asked them to leave the rostrum, allowing only those who were supposed to argue to say. Subsequently, CB, uh, SCBA, um, President Pratip Afridi, and the senior advocate. Hamid Khan argued against the ISC assessment passed in the uh, Shanas Bhatt case in which the ISC four member larger bank had ordered the CDA to remove the illegal chambers. Interestingly, uh, Mr. Khan was an uh, amicus uh, Curie. Curie in the matter before the ISC and had opposed encroachment on a state land. The IHC, in its order, had appreciated Mr. Khan for mistrusting the court, assisting the court. And CJP Gulzar, during the hearing of the appeal, remarked that as he had been um, a professional liar in the past, he knew everything about the bar. We know that the liars gossip about the judges, and there must be sanity among the liars, and um, we expect them to be cautious about their own institution, he said. Meanwhile, the Islamabad Bar Council, IBA, and the Islamabad High Court Bar Association, IACBA, uh, we have welcomed in the FX Court's stay order against the motion of illegal lies chambers. And uh, speaking at a press conference, IBA Vice Vice Chairman Sulfikar uh, Ali Abbasi said that the liars should be allowed to retain their chambers until the establishment of the liars complex. He said that the liars were ready and to give an 
undertaking that you leave at their chambers after the construction of the lyres complex was completed. He condemned on the February 8th storming of the ISC by the lyres and said that in response to the letter written to him by the ISC Chief Justice, he had already condemned the attack on the Chief Justice block in strongest possible terms. And Mr. Abbasi claimed that the CDA did not follow the law uh, before launching a drive against the chambers. He criticized the registration of FIRs under the Anti-Terrorism Act in connection with the storming of the ISC. Mr. Abbasi also composed the proceeding initiated against the lawyers of our misconduct. And under the contempt of court law, saying that it was the prerogative of the BBC, IHCBA resident Chaudhary Hasib said that the Bar Association was condemning the attack on the Chief Justice block from the day one, since it could not be justified in any way. However, he said that the Liars Chambers um, was the um, was a core issue and it must be settled again for all. Islamabad Bar Council member Raja Alim Khan Abbasi said that the district and sessions judge had asked the CDA to demolish two chambers about the civic agency had destroyed 100 officer, offices of the lawyers. He said that the lawyers were expecting that the situation would become normal with the passage of time, but the IHC issued the order to demolish the remaining chambers of the football ground. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the fresh from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time and goodbye.